Hi there. In this short video, I'll walk you through some of the features and highlights of the WP Photo Seller plugin, and I will demonstrate why professional photographers and enthusiasts just like you will love what this plugin has to offer. Let's first take a look at this plugin from the customer's perspective. When a customer or visitor arrives at your photo gallery page, they'll see something similar to this, and that is a list of all the galleries which you've provisioned on your website. If we click on one of the galleries, we can then see a list of all the images or photos within that gallery. And you can see here that each of these images is displayed in a nice stylish box and grid formation. The plugin does, however, offer different uh, types of templates with which you can display the images within a gallery. And to demonstrate that, I'll just go back to the photo gallery list and I'll choose this gallery here. And in this case, you can see that each of the images within this gallery are displayed in either portrait or landscape style, which depicts the actual style of the original photo. Now, when a customer chooses a particular gallery they wish to look at, they can click on the Add to Cart button or the image itself. And when they do that, they'll be taken to a Photo Details page. In this page, they'll be able to see further details about the photo and also browse or navigate and look at all the other photos within this the same gallery without leaving that page. The plugin also offers a zoom functionality which you can enable, enable in the settings which will allow the customer to view the finer details of the photo when they hover over the image. If we scroll further down on the photo details page, we can see that we also have a list of all of the variations available for this particular photo. The customer can choose one or more of these variations to purchase a particular version of this photo. To demonstrate this, we'll choose one of these variations and we'll add it to our cart. Once we've added our item successfully to the cart, we can either go back to the gallery page and look at other photos to add to the cart, or we can go directly to the cart and view the cart details. The cart page shows a summary of all the items that are currently in the cart. And you can see here that we have the item which we just added. The plugin also offers basic tax and shipping um, configurations which you can apply to your um, products and also coupon functionality whereby customers can get discounts off the total purchase price. So if we proceed to checkout by clicking on the um, checkout button, we'll be taken to PayPal and from there the customer can pay for the uh, photos. When the customer checks their email inbox they will see an email similar to this. In that email it will contain the details of the purchased items plus all of the download links and a link to the receipt. So just to demonstrate, let's click on a download link and as you can see each of the links are encrypted so people won't know where from your website the images are coming from. So let's click on the first one and we can save the image. So the image has been saved to our desktop and let's just see what it looks like and we can see here that we have a high resolution image which we just purchased. Also, if we click on the receipt link, the customer will see an official receipt of this particular transaction. From this page, they can also download their item by clicking on the download item link in the product list. Some of the main features and settings 
which are highlights of this plugin include the following. A choice of two payment gateway options, one of which is PayPal and the second is a manual payment gateway option whereby your customers can pay you via direct bank transfer. Another great feature of this plugin is the flexible price list and photo variation settings. A price list is where you can specify all of the different variations that you want to offer for each of your photos in the gallery. A price list also allows you to turn on or off tax or shipping for that particular gallery. There are two types of variations you can apply to your photos. One is digital variations and the other is physical variations. You can configure as many digital or physical variations as you wish. The customer will see a list of all of these variations when they view the photos on the front end. One of the major highlights of the PhotoSeller plugin is the flexibility with which it allows you to display your galleries and images. First off, you have the choice of four different gallery templates which control how your gallery thumbnails are displayed to your customers. You can also specify the sort order of your gallery images by choosing one of the drop-down options. If you want only certain customers to view a gallery, then you can easily protect uh, your gallery page by specifying a password in the settings shown here. Now earlier in our demonstration we showed you what happens when a customer clicks on a gallery thumbnail. They were taken to a photo details page. But we also mentioned that you can also use a lightbox option and that can be achieved by disabling the preview photo via page setting as shown here. However, if you are using the, the photo um, preview photo page, you can also enable zoom and Facebook like buttons, which will appear underneath the photo. You also saw from the demonstration that the photos were watermarked, and those watermark settings were specified here. Within these watermark settings, you can control not only your watermark text, which, which appears over the photo, but also it's the text opacity, you can also set the watermark text placement um, to be either a repeated grid or centered onto the photo. Within the watermark settings you can also control how large or how wide your watermark photo is and also the font size of the watermark text. If you have galleries with a very large number of images you might want to use pagination uh, to control how they're displayed on the page and that's easily um, achievable by this setting here. The uploading of images is also simple with this plugin. You just simply click the upload button and drag and drop your images into this drop down box. Or alternatively you can select existing images within um, your WordPress site. We saw earlier how when you configure the price list you also configure the variations and we mentioned that you can actually override these variations on a per photo basis and the way you do that is within the gallery you'll have a list of all the images that are within this gallery and by clicking the edit link for that image you'll be taken to the image edit window as you can see here and you can then specify digital or physical variations which will override the main variations which were specified in the price list. So when a customer views this particular image they will only see the variation specified in these settings. Another useful feature of the PhotoSeller plugin includes the ability to offer coupons to your customers. With this feature, the customer can, will be asked to enter a coupon code at checkout time, from which they can receive a discount.
The plugin also offers various tax and shipping options which you can use to apply to your photos. As a professional photographer, you'll also want to be able to easily view the orders which have been made from your site. And you can do that easily via the orders menu. Within this menu, you can view a list of all the orders and details such as the transaction ID, the date and the payment status. To view further details for a particular order, just simply click the view link for that particular order. And you'll be presented with extra information regarding that order which includes the variation ordered and the photo ID and the gallery name plus all the tax and shipping totals and costs. So they're just some of the features and highlights of the WP Photo Seller plugin. Thanks for watching.